guys, what's up? It's Sam with these little guineas. I am here today to show you how to make one of these awesome towers. Um, I call them my towers just because they are giant and they hold a lot of guinea pigs. Um, I wanted to do this video. I've had a lot of people ask me about how to design them, how I design them. Um, so I just wanted to do this uh, this video real quick. My boyfriend is actually an engineer, um, so he kind of helped me figure this out, and I built it from his ideas um, after we kind of, you know, threw some ideas back and forth. So um, I'm going to show you. Hopefully, you can see this. There are. Um, I use binder clips. It's really, really awesome to use. Um, the reason that I use these is to be able to open and close it. Okay, so this allows, I know, hi guys. So this allows me to have an, a front door that I can access each one individually. Um, for the levels, you're gonna need, um, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So for each level, you're gonna need 20 um, 14 by 14 inch wire grids. You can find these on Amazon um, or at like your local like store, kind of like Target or like maybe even Walmart. Um, I got them on Amazon. That seemed to be the cheapest place to get them, so I would definitely encourage that. You can also go on to places like Facebook Marketplace and search for it. Um, Lots of people are selling them. They're really great for storage, but they're also great for guinea pigs and uh, storing guinea pigs. So um, you're gonna need 20 for each level that you wanna do, plus an additional um, eight for the top. So, um, so two, four, six, eight. Um, you're gonna need about 88 if you're gonna wanna make a four, if you wanna make a four story one. Um, I will say, the bottom one, when I first built this, I was using the bottom for guinea pigs. And then I had this nightmare that the whole thing was gonna collapse and crush the ones on the bottom. It's silly, but I freaked out. So now I just use it for storage. Really, um, it's completely staple, I promise. Uh, my, my brain. Um, so I just used the top three. I really don't know if I would suggest going any higher just because Unless you have a ladder, you're not going to be able to reach in there, or unless you're like six feet tall. I'm 5'7", and I, like, this is perfect height. I feel like if I was having to reach in here, it might be a little, eh. Um, you might do five levels, but that would probably be the most. Also, the taller you make it, the less stable it is, which is never fun, because you don't want a giant cage full of guinea pigs to collapse on you, so... Try to limit it to four or five at the very, very most. You can do less than that if you want it to be, um, you know, a bit more stable. You could maybe put this on a giant shelf, maybe, and prop it up so that's higher. I would not say do two levels and keep it on the bottom because that's probably going to hurt your back. But to each his own. I don't care. Do whatever you want. Um, but that's how I did it. Um... And what you're going to do is I, I try to use these little, like these little black things that it comes with. They're little circles. I don't know if I have, let me see if I have an extra one that I can show you. I know, I know. Squeak, 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 squeak. All right. When you order them, you're going to get one, a few of these. They're going to come with it. So... I put these at the bottom level, like the bottom level on each one. So um, I use these to make a complete floor. Um, so you need like, if you're doing four layers, you need five floors because you know the top and then one, two, three, four, five. So you need five layers if you're doing four levels. You need six if you're doing five levels. Um, but, oh, I just dropped that one. But basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these and you're gonna utilize the this part right here and you're gonna stick them into each one, okay? And then, when you're making the, um, like, when you're making the, like the, like the walls, um, I just kind of like zip tied them together. Um, I zip tied a lot. You're going to need lots of zip ties. Um, but make sure 
that you don't use these for this part because it'll be very hard to get off. And uh, yeah, it'll be very frustrating. Also, don't zip tie the top of this because it has to open. So don't zip tie that. But basically, you're gonna wanna make a rectangle box and the front of it is gonna need to open and close. Use binder clips to keep it open and close. It's pretty simple. Uh, message me or comment below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be doing another video here shortly. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a ton of videos. So yeah, welcome to my channel. Here's how to make a guinea pig tower. And uh, good luck trying it. Uh, post pictures below of what you did. Let's see how they vary. Um, but yeah. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.